with mountain snows beginning to melt, spring comes to New Zealand, with freshening rivers running seawards, with fern fronds and toy toys dipping lazily into the water. Spring comes with trees in bloom, with branches laden with blossoms. With brambles that must be rooted out, with barbed wire that must remain. Men are training for war. This is no ordinary spring. Men are forging weapons for war. Women are making uniforms to clothe our army. There's a real offensive on every front this spring. On the land, men are preparing to grow more food. Our army and our people must be fed, and Britain must have food. This is no ordinary spring with fashions coming first. Here are new spring fashions, and they're free. But they're not free to the nation. They're part of the cost of war, like the battle for the Solomons. For the United States Marines, this is their spring offensive. They are on active service. Just as our men are on active service in the Middle East, and in New Zealand, but more than men are needed on active service this spring. There's need for the utmost support from all of us. We are the civilian army supplying these great fighters. This spring, we too must be on the offensive. To match the spirit of the fighting forces, we must plan our economy. On the national savings front, our battle cry is, an active account is on active service. Our money, as well as our men, must go on active service this spring. Until the day when the barbed wire around our shores can be swept away. Until the day when spring in New Zealand means the old, old spring we knew.